Welcome back, friends. It's been a long time. And y'all are going to hear me talking kind of light tonight. But it's because I'm trying to, you know, record. And, uh, you know, do this right. So, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, for those of you who are new, I'm Panabase. Come at you with our first episode of Pokemon Insurgents. So... Yes, I know all about. Oh yes, of course, y'all get to watch me do the whole controls and input. So y'all, I'm gonna actually go ahead and skip this part, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we are back. Um, y'all will have to forgive me. This is gonna be a little new. I want to really try and do something consistent here. Maybe who knows? It can go somewhere. Um. I'm going to be uploading this on two different places. I think I'm going to upload this on uh, both YouTube and, <laughs> funny enough, Daily Motion. Daily Motion because I'm monetized there, and YouTube because YouTube is popular. So I want to see if I can get people to at least hop over from one to the other. With that, we are going to hop into a new game. Welcome to Pokemon Insurgent. Current version releases that. Let's get Dark Story. There's no reason not to. This game plays so much better. On my computer, what the heck? Hello? Why did my computer actually start running this well? Hey, I'm not upset. I'll go with it. I wish my, wish my Switch gameplay looked this good. Actually, it does look on a laptop. This looks amazing though. What the heck my dude? This is awesome. Shoot, this is gonna be crazy. Right. Torn region. One year ago. Thank you all for coming. We live in dark times, my friends. A grave loss has recently befallen us all. The Augur was a great man. Not only was he an unmatched trainer, but his heart burned with a desire to protect his people. He was our hero, and possibly the best leader the Torn region has ever known, but... I don't like his hair. I really don't. As you know, we're other regions of equal teams or organizations. It's Pokemon worshipping cults that call the Torn region home. I'll give me just a second and turn the audio down a little bit. But these cults, religion is so much more than just believing. They won't rest until the world is remade exactly how they want it to be. For our protection, the Augur defeated and dissipated over half of them. He saved us. That's a thing to think about. Because we've played this game before, we know there are five cults in this game. That means that the Augurs defeated at least five other ones. And I kind of want to know what they were. He saved us. We could go him and search for one of the remaining cults. He has not returned. He hasn't been seen since. People have torn. I like you not believe our auger is dead. I assure you, I will search tirelessly until he's found him. With a heavy heart, I accept the burden of taking his place until he's found. Till the first auger returns, I shall be the second. I promise you. I'll use every resource at my disposal to find him. We will stand our ground. We will not let these cultists, these Insurgents split apart our families and destroy the place we call home. Long live the Torn region. Long live the Torn region. We'll remain strong. Good speech. Here we go. Yes, I would like to do a challenge run. We're gonna do Nuzlocke. Now, because I have played this game before, I actually want to do an Egglock of this. This could be very interesting. I've chosen to do an Egglock. You'll not be able to access many online features like trading or battling if you select this. In this challenge, the first 20 boxes will be filled with eggs. You'll not be able to interact with these boxes, but the last four boxes are for you to use. Once you catch or receive a Pokemon, it is swapped out at random for an egg in the PC. These eggs can be taken from a text file in the Egglock folder, or randomly generated, which would I rather randomly generate eggs. 
In Nuzlocke, Rain will not be killed by Pokemon Centers. Revive Sacred Ashes and other ways fail. This is going to be a lot of fun. Hello? Is this thing working? Can you hear me? Oh, thank Arceus. You're not gone just yet. You've got to listen to me. It'll return any minute now. You just stay focused. Remember all you can. If you value your memories at all, you'll listen to what I have to say. We need to be quick. At least remember your name, right? Why, yes, I do. I could go by Tyler or I could go by Phantom Base. Actually, no, I can't. I'm going by Tyler. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, okay. Good, you remember your name. What else do you remember? Boy. Yes, I look like the middle guy. Because I have purple hair. See, it's purple. It's a Gengar! It's here. You need to wake up. I've sent someone to fend it off and get you out of here. You need to wake up. I love that this is running so smooth. I'm, like, surprised. Alright, the door's locked. Gengar's doing her thing. Soon Dreamy to rid the prisoner of the last of his memories. Hopefully we'll be done within the hour. Well, how are you doing? It's prisoner bearing. According to the computer, Miss Persephone, their memories should be completely gone very soon. Everything is going as planned. Excellent. Finally, we'll have fulfilled our end of the bargain. Good work, you do. We're starting a ritual soon in the upstairs room. Will you be attending? Of course, miss. I would never miss a sacrifice. Very well. I'll see you upstairs then. Miss, wait. I have a question. After the child's memories are gone, what do you plan to do with them? Kill them, of course. I expect you upstairs within two minutes. See, I didn't think about it until just now. But, if... Y'all, y'all will have to... I will be through this when, in the comments section. When we get to this, to a certain point in the game, someone is going to have to remind me to revisit this theory that I have as to why this makes sense. I would bother to wipe your memories if we're just going to kill them anyways. No clue, but thanks for asking that in front of her. You know how she hates to be questioned. Let's go upstairs then. It's always fun to see a ritual being performed. So this is going to be a, an egg lock. It's going to be a lot of fun, but I wanted to keep the uh, I wanted to keep the trainers and stuff normal and the wild encounters normal because honestly, egg lock is going to make it semi-randomized. Gengar's gone. Go follow me and get out of here. Never look back. Good luck. Mew dragged me out of bed like it's my mom. I'm gonna turn on auto run. Let's go. Key thing for this game grab all the items. No, nah, we're not gonna read it because, like I said, I've played this game before. This is gonna be more of a challenge run for the fun of it. He was holding a small note. I do want to continue with the story though. Like we're not gonna skip over the story or anything. He used me to help you out. It's mess to his special ability. It's able to use transform and change his form and disguise itself as something else. However, unlike Ditto, you can transform you as well. If you can find DNA, you can disguise you as someone else. You should be able to use this to escape the base. Good luck, your benefactor. It's so cool knowing who that is, by the way. I wish I could go behind the stairs. God, Dark Ride Coldest. We're now Dark Ride Coldest. This is going to be the first, so we're going to go back because I want to get all those items that we couldn't get to before. These potions are going to be super helpful in this game, so... Okay, that's going to be good for money later, because we probably really need it until we get to late in the game, by then we'll be buying super repels. Yes, not max repels, super repels. Super repels are well worth, well worth, well, they're worth the money. That's our way out. I love that the speed up doesn't kill the music. It makes me happy. I think that was the most irritating thing about speed up in like ROM hack or in ROMs. It's that it killed the music. Like it sped up the music too. Okay. So we're over here. And we're gonna 
slide over this way. And so we begin. Miss, please, you can't do this. I don't want to die. You swore when you joined that you would give your life for us. How is this any different? Activate the ritual circle. <laughs> dark Red Lord of Darkness, I call you to enter our world. In return, I offer you the soul of this loyal servant to be bound to your world of nightmares forever. Not gonna repeat that. <laughs> Me and Latin don't go well together. I love that this is like normal speed. Speed up through it though. Dark Lord of Nightmares. You're the great balance for the world. You punish the great, slay the immortal. It's been years since I saw you last. You remember what occurred. We accomplished something incredible that day. I thought Bind of Beauty accepted offer to join us. But you fled soon after, never to be seen again. But now I call upon you again. Darkrai, why will you not join me? I know my sister has seen you time and time again. Why do you favor her over me? I beseech you, Darkrai, join me. Join the cultists who worship you for so long. With my guidance and your power, the world could be ours. Eh. <laughs> well, isn't that just lovely? I mean, you tried to trap the dang thing. It's probably gone off to Slain City to see my sister again. What a waste of a run. And what do you two want exactly? <sighs> Miss, please, I'm confident that we had another try. We could trap Dark right here. We don't know why it didn't work this time. But if it was to give us another chance, get out of my way. Fire blast! I'm going to check on the prison. None of you better follow me. That is my cue to get the heck out of Dodge. Let's go, brethren. Alright, we are out of here. Shave Forest. Alright. There's a small flute and another note in hand. Give me the coarse flute, yeah. This flute lets you call up when you and need it. To use it, go into your bag and use it directly or register it. Good luck, your benefactor. I can swear I saw a Mew here just now. Did you see it? A tiny pink Pokemon. It's floating really close to you. Nah. Oh, I could swear I... My name is Damien. I'm an inspiring Pokemon trainer. And you are? Tyler. Got it. Get to Teleport Town at the perfect time. The Augur, the greatest man in the world, of course, is coming today. You know the Augurs, right? Yes. Of course you do. Who wouldn't? He's only the most amazing person ever. The mayor of the town's been preparing ever since this morning. I'm excited. I was just running errands before you arrived. I know. Why don't you help out? We're signing jobs in the town hall. You know, cleaning and so on. Cool story, bro. I got five Pokeballs. So we can buy Pokeballs. So that's what I'm gonna do. We can... Uh, we can actually go and go get an encounter, funny enough. I think I might. Just for the heck of it. But we can't, actually. Would it let us battle anything? I kind of want to try something real quick. See if there's a glitch in this that would let me do this. <sighs> oh, okay. I have to actually set that to something else. Okay. I'm gonna save real quick. Wonder if it'll let us. <laughs> If there's an encounter you can get here. <laughs> I kinda just wonder. I imagine they fixed it so you can't. But... Yeah, I didn't think they would do that. I figured they'd be smarter than that. Okay, so we're gonna head on over to here then. Finish cleaning up the road, is there anything else I can do? Oh, this is Tyler. I met them outside. They offered to help too. Nice to meet you, Tyler. 
I mean, I think we're pretty well finished, as long as you have your gift for the auger ready. I think you're done. You do have your gift right, though. Um, I may have forgotten. Of course you have. You better find one ambassador. You can find a rare stone in one of those caves in the forest. Of course, you need a Pokemon to go safely. No, absolutely not. Not a chance. Damien is not ready to get a Pokemon. He's still just a child. Mom, please. If you town already I've got one, there's nothing left. And you're not gonna follow me. You'll get yourself killed. Why do you care? It's not like you're my real mother or anything. I raised you since birth. You're not capable of raising a plant like all the Pokemon. You're responsible for 80 social. You can't even. That's enough out of you two. You're embarrassing us. <laughs> You your brother. You said your name was Ty from Street Panel Pokemon before. Well then you will live one to both you and Damien. Will you be willing to help him get to the forest? Yes. So it's settled. I'll help get the gift. He gets responsible. Keep Pokemon. Fine, he won't. Lego. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Because I'm pretty sure this is how this works. We're gonna do the egg lock part of this. Now, in the event it lets me keep the Delta, I'm gonna grab the Delta I want to get. Let's see, Professor, these Pokemon are freaks. No other trainer will want them, and we can't keep them any longer. All I want is for you to take them. You already keep a bunch of EBSs. Truly, these three won't be a bother. Why do you care about them? I know what you've done. It's true. I'm merciless. I've done some awful things, but there's no reason for these Pokemon to die. Um, hello. I'm Damien, and this is Tyler. We're here to get a Pokemon so we can get the forest safely. Sylvan, if you don't take these Pokemon, I'll release them, and they're sure to die in the wild. If you want, you can just give them to these kids, right? Put them on the table. Very well. Excuse me, please. Damien, why are you moonwalking? So you two are in need of a Pokemon? Yes, ma'am. I see. The man who is just now is one of my colleagues at university. He's a smart man and a great scientist. He's also the leader of the cult of perfection. Uh, a cult leader? Those people are evil. Evil professor. You should be talking to them. Accepting gifts from them. Tell me, Damien. Tyler, have you ever heard of something called a Delta species? Yes. Well, I haven't. Allow me to explain. Uh, I know what they are. It's the Pokemon on the table are Deltas. I'm not sure what type they are, but you can experience a bubble source under school. Scientific marvels, you'd love to keep one. You could take an Eevee, or you could take one of them. She's one of three Delta Pokemon, or the Eevee. I want the Eevee to talk, otherwise take a pick. I'm gonna pick... No. Take the Delta Bulbasaur. It's gonna be Sophie! Okay. Come on, Damien, make a pick. You already know what you're picking. Now, um, fun fact for you guys. Last second, I decided I was gonna change up the rules to just a Nuzlocke. So hopefully, I went back and deleted everything, and hopefully this will, um, work out better. Because I, 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 was, I was having a bit of a tough time with the Egglock, as far as keeping things together. I figured I would just do the Nuzlocke instead of just play through. What we got? How about a battle? Be the perfect time to test out our Pokemon. Let's go. I might speed up through this battle. I've been running speed up the whole time. Cool with me. You keep doing that. Yeah. Destroyed rival Damien. Not just defeated. <laughs> You're a great trainer. Yes. Okay. Yes, we'll meet you in force a cave and stuff. First time. Yes, yeah, she gives me a Pokedex. A Pokemon and Dex. Anyways, now you got it. You all set to go on your journey. Head to the four speaker. Let's take a look at Sophie here for a second. Hasty nature is not terrible. It's not great either, though. Decent stuff on bad HP. First thing we're just gonna go heal, because that battle actually doesn't heal you, so use up some of your PP. I followed everything that I did up until this point in the replay that you saw up to a T, so. 
So everything else saw me do before, um, I picked up that, um, uh, that Bulbasaur was, um, was followed to the letter. So now is where everything is different. Actually, I'm going to test something real quick. We're going to save real quick. I want to make sure. That... Yes, it's over right. I want to make sure that the Nuzlocke rules work. So I'm just going to get, some... get our first encounter here. Which is... Oh, it's a ghastly. Oh, yes. Oh, but I can't touch it. I have to literally throw a ball and hope for the best. Come on. No, I don't want to sleep. I need you to get in the ball. That's what I need you to do. Come on. Come on. We got it. We got the gas leak. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You're a girl, though, so you can't be Rick Gasly. I almost want to call you Rick anyway. But, no, since you're female Gasly. I, what do I even call you? Um. I should call you F in the chat. Okay, now. Here's something to save real quick. I'm going to test to make sure that the Nuzlocke is working. If it's not, we're in trouble. Okay. Alright, so I'll be right back with Jess real quick. Okay, so as I expected and sadly, um, the Nuzlocke portion is actually not working. So I'm going to try this again. Um, and maybe we'll catch that ghastly. I'll, I'll come back in to this point and we'll make this happen again, so y'all hold on, I'll be back. Okay, this was a very long ordeal that I probably will not ever want to do it again. But I've been a big dumb for a long time, pushing the wrong button, wrong dang buttons, while I was trying to set up the Nuzlocke. Figured it out. And of course it happens only after I tweet at Suzerain. That I find out that I'm doing this wrong. Okay, now luckily for me, I figured it out. So. And we did manage to catch the ghastly. Good old F is still in the chat. Gotta be careful. Oh my gosh, so bad. No spit F I P Z. This thing is awful. This thing was worse than the other one I had. At least this one's timid with max spit F and no special attack and no speed. At least this one's of timid nature. So your legs are gonna be doing an extra zero to so get you a good special good food. Okay. This could take some training, because like maybe there's a way you can change natures in this, I don't know. But like for right now we're gonna go back and heal up. Come around and start. And I think after that encounter, I think I'm going to call it for this episode. Because I'm beat. This would be a nice, quick, a nice, short way to introduce ourselves into the trap. Oh my gosh, of course you crit. Okay, this would be a nice way to introduce the series. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for, for watching. I hope you all enjoy fighting. I actually want to fight this guy while we're talking. Um, I'm going to try and upload this as consistently as I can. Obviously there are going to be some exceptions just because like, life happens. Okay, we got level 9, we got fairy win. Perfect. Okay, so... So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Pokemon Insurgents, our Nuzlocke. We're going to do this right, um, and I want to hope you guys come back, uh, try to this 
as consistently as possible, if not daily, then at least every other day. So, um, yeah. Thanks, you guys. Talking to you guys real soon. Bye.